Welcome to the Showtime Report. This is Devon Johnson, and this is your weekly report for all things Lakers. We got a big weekend coming up, so let's jump into it. First things first, we're 3-0, baby. The story for the Lakers' 86-95 victory over the Jazz is obviously going to go to LeBron James' ridiculous 32-7-10 stat line and Coach Frank Vogel moving 80 to the 5, and rightfully so. However, the real story of this game was defense. With the way the Lakers defended on Friday, you could have thought the Utah Jazz were a group of white men in court. And this is exactly why the Lakers are contenders this year. Defense wins championships. And being able to fall back on it when the offense isn't quite able to come online it's definitely going to help to stave off the pressures of an 82 game season. Moving on, the first half of the Lakers 101-120 victory against Charlotte was, uh, was ugly. The defense was asleep, the offense was stagnant, the team was just going through a collective hangover. But all that changed with the jump start from two unlikely names. Dwight Howard and Alex Caruso. <laughs> Alex Caruso did everything he could, hustling on both ends of the floor, reading passing lanes, playing tight defense. Caruso definitely deserves a bigger role moving forward. And let's talk about Dwight for a second. Dwight Howard has been a revelation for the Lakers this season. He's kept his head down, he's bought to his role, and he's been phenomenal in every way. The only thing left for Dwight to do is not let the success go to his head. Dwight, Dwight, if, if you're listening, and you're, and you're probably not, j just know that in this moment, you have won back the hearts of most reasonable Laker fans. You, my friend, have won us back. But when you hear that little voice in your head saying that you need a bigger role, don't you listen to that. Stay in the pocket. Opportunities are gonna manifest on their own. No need to push it. You have already won. The animosity is out the door. Just keep the ball in your hands and run out the clock, bro. You're doing great. Keep up the good work. And remember the wise words of The Rock. And I quote, you know your damn role and shut your damn mouth. If you can do that, you're going to help both take the Lakers to the promised land of a championship. And once again, we'll have a parade down Figueroa. And you'll restore your reputation forever with the redemption story the likes of Jamie Lannister from season three. Certainly not season eight. Moving on. The Lakers started slow again in their 91-120 win against the Memphis Grizzlies. I'm seeing a pattern here. But that was all before AD dropped 40 points and 20 rebounds. 40 points, 20 rebounds in three quarters. We haven't seen that from a Lakers since Shaq. This is exactly why getting Anthony Davis was worth every penny. Listen, form fam, we're three and one, but it's obvious the Lakers are great again and hopefully we can carry this momentum into the upcoming road trip and speaking of upcoming we have a game happening tonight against the Dallas Mavericks we're going up against the law offices of Chris Dabbs and Luca the two-headed monster from Dallas who has been surprising a lot of teams people knew they were going to be good but they're already starting to see some great gel between those two players but that's only a two-headed monster the big news for the Laker fans is that we're revealing our three-headed monster tonight. Not only do we have Anthony Davis, and not only do we have LeBron James, but tonight is the debut of our boy Kyle Kuzma. Now listen, I said some things over the last couple of days that made some people upset. I know Kyle Kuzma's gonna score, and we're looking for that scoring off the bench, but I believe in my boy Kyle Kuzma. I believe his defense is gonna match his offense. I believe he's going to run through screens. I believe he's going to take charges like Caruso. I believe he's going to have the energy to block like 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 Howard. Maybe not all that, but he's going to be good. And that's what we're looking for. Just, just be one of those things, and I think we'll be fine. But the fun doesn't end there. We move from Dallas and move on up to San Antonio. Going up against Greg Popovich and the San Antonio Spurs, who were just recently beaten by the Los Angeles Clippers. Expect them to have a chip on their shoulder against any team with the name L.A. in front of it. And expect this to be a game where we find out just how good Frank Vogel is as a coach. He's been doing great so far, staggering rotations and finding out different things that work and making late game adjustments. But he's going up against a coach that has been legendary. The one coach who's been known to beat people like Phil Jackson and, and all-star teams. And he actually coached the Team USA basketball, so he has an inside look and knows about Kyle Kuzma's game. So expect him to have a game plan for that. And then Tuesday, 
We cannot take our foot off the gas. If we can win these two games in Texas and move on into Chicago, going up against a Bulls team who is okay, they're not horrible, but they're not great. The sign of a championship caliber team is their ability to play great day in and day out regardless of the talent level of their opposition. Chicago's gonna be more about can we keep the momentum going than it is gonna be about how great we are as a team. And don't forget, after every one of these games tonight, Sunday, Tuesday against the Bulls, we're having our post-game live stream. We wanna hear from you guys, so we're gonna be available on most social media platforms. That includes Twitter, Instagram, Periscope, and of course, YouTube. We wanna hear from you on all those channels. Our guy, Boss Man Bergman, will be on there. Greg Bergman, if you don't follow him, follow him at Bergman Greg on any one of those platforms, and he'll be able to take those questions for you guys. I'm fully expecting that we're gonna go 3-0. And that's it for him, fam. That's the Showtime Weekly Report for all things Lakers. Can't wait to see you guys again next week when we talk about how legendary we are. We talk about how great Kyle Kuzma is off the bench and how AD went for 50 in one of these games. All right, guys, I'll holla at you. Ah!